Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1828, Part 2. This is where we look at the difference between lookup and XLOOKUP to do approximate match lookup. Now, I'm doing a Part 2 because on page 279 in my book, I left out an important detail. Now, luckily, we're on an awesome team because in the last video in the comments, Mohammed is the one who said, hey, you left out a detail. And here's the detail. The lookup function can do both vertical and horizontal lookup. Remember, the lookup function was around way before VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. And here's how it decides. If the lookup table rows are greater than or equal to columns, then it does vertical lookup. Here, there's more rows than there's columns. Here, there's exactly the same number of rows as columns. Both of these are vertical. This one is horizontal. There are more columns than there are rows. Now, there is a situation where you can get into trouble. Now, we want to look at all four situations. The first situation, well, we're going to look up this value. And we have a lookup table where there's more rows than columns. And the first column is sorted. So we simply highlight this function always takes from the last column. So that will work. The second situation. Well, we have a lookup value, and our table has more columns than rows. So it'll search through the first row, get a match, and take what's ever from the last row. That will give us the correct percent. We have our lookup value. The number of rows is exactly the same as columns. So it's taken from the last column. When I hit Enter, there's our 7.5. But here's where you get into trouble. If you are intending to do vertical lookup, and there's more columns than there are rows, then it's just not going to work. It's going to do horizontal lookup. It's going to search through the first row. There's nothing but zeros, so it'll take the last one and incorrectly take the last value from the last row. That's not what we want. Now, at that point, you probably want to use XLOOKUP. But in the old days, before VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, and XLOOKUP, well, what did we do? We didn't use the second option, lookup value in table. We used lookup value, lookup vector, comma, result vector. And in fact, I bet you that's where Microsoft got the idea for two separate ranges in XLOOKUP. All right, awesome hanging out on this online Excel team. Now, we do have part three coming up because I want to show you the very business problem that I had decades ago, which made me first jump to lookup back when I was always using VLOOKUP. And it applies now. So we'll see you next LOOKUP magic trick.